Hello and welcome to Let's Play Europa Universalis 3, Divine Wind, I think is what it's called, right? I always forget, yeah. Um, best intro ever. Uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, if you don't know what this is, it's a uh, real-time strategy game where you play from anywhere between the year 1399 to 1789. Or as you can see, it's quite a bit different. Um, we're going to be playing from the beginning. Not to the very end, that would take way too long. And I'm not good enough at the game, I'd probably end up losing before then. But, I do have a goal. I'm, I'm going to be playing as Casil, and I'm going to hopefully unite Spain. If I can at least take over Granada, and just stay there, have a decent economy, and have no revolt risk, you know, I will be happy. <laughs> Which is pretty sad, because it's not very much, but you know, whatever. Um... See, I'll get more into the game once we actually start playing. I tried recording this before, actually, and it went really, really, really badly. I went to war with Granada, and as usual, Morocco, Algiers, and Tunisia went to war with me. I was expecting that, but right when I went to war with Granada, Aragon went to war with me. Sicily had apparently taken over Navarra, and they went to war with me as well because they were allied with Aragon, and it just, yeah, it just went downhill from there. I had like five different armies attacking me. I could have dealt with Granada by itself and all of its allies. I could have dealt with Aragon in itself and Sicily, definitely. But both of them get together, it was just too much. I was focusing on taking over Granada, while Morocco was the biggest force that was there. But they were taking over a few places. They actually didn't succeed to take over any. But Aragon just had a huge army up over here that I really couldn't do anything about if I wanted to have Granada, which I did. And it just really did not turn out very well, and my army just ended up getting crushed by, um, Aragon and the, uh, um, these guys, Tunisia, Morocco, and Algiers. So anyways, hopefully this will be a lot better. So, yeah, in this game, as you can see, you start out as a continent. It is real-time, which I'll show in a bit, um, it's not turn-based, in other words. Like, it's not like you have to wait years for something to happen. I don't know, it always feels like that's what they mean, or they say real-time to me, at least. Maybe I'm just an idiot. Uh, so, yeah, you always start out with some sort of economy, some ruler, specific, um, different policies, depending on the times, and an army, usually just depending on the size of your nation. Casil's a decent size, so I start out with an overall army of nine, um, Portugal, I think, starts with an army of three. I have no clue what Aragon I've ever played as them. And one of the first things you should probably do is mess with your sliders. So every once in a while you'll get a, um, one direction you can move for your sliders. I generally like to go for centralization, but I can't because, well, I could, but this red line means that something bad happens if I go past it. I've never tried. I just know something bad happens. I really don't want to try. Um... So I generally like to have centralization, I think plutocracy, I've never really focused on this slider too much, um, free subjects, innovative, free trade, and then after that it kind of just depends, um, defensive or offensive, naval or land, I don't really, I've never really cared about quantity or quality, I've never actually really paid attention to that, so I think I'm actually going to go for free trade because it helps with, uh, trade. Oh no, we lose three merchants, I guess it's not the best, but it's not really all that bad, um, so yeah, then over here, you have advisors that help you with, um, various things. Let's see. Are any of these any good? Compete chance is good. Uh, I'm about to be going to war, so fort defense, I guess, would be bad. Granted, I'm stuck with them now, but, you know, a lot of these guys aren't really all that great. At least not in my opinion. Um... I'm going to be starting out going for government tech, so I guess I'll get that guy too. And again, as I said, I'm starting out going for government tech. Um, it says like an estimated date for when it's um, done. You can see down in this area, once I have it up, um, the different levels, like what you get at different levels. Um, you might have noticed that it said another idea. These are idea slots. Um, there's different things like quests for the new world, which unlocks conquistadors and explorers. 
and there are other things that increase like compete chance and morale of armies and stuff like that. I generally like to go for um, Quest for the New World, especially whenever I play as Portugal or Castile. I say Castile, it's probably Castile, but you know, I just like saying Castile. I've never done well as Castile, but I think it'll be interesting. I'm, as I said, my main goal is just to unite Spain. And then after that, I'll probably just, you know, randomly jack around. Like, you know what? I feel like having the entire Iberian Peninsula, so I'll go to war with Portugal or something. But that's pretty long term, because I'm probably going to end up dying in the first few years. Um, so yeah. As I said, I'm not very good at this game. Uh, so to start out, I'm going to... Split this army in half. Send half of it over there. Those guys are in a little mantra. And I'm going to start building up a few more units. I generally just go with um, infantry, because I don't really see a point in getting the knights. They take longer to build, and I don't really know the difference between the two units. I probably should look it up or something, but I haven't. Um, plus and minus on the keyboard or up here to change the speed. Five makes the days go by that fast. I generally like to have it on four or five. When I'm not doing anything, I'll have it at five. Um, no, I don't like having alliances really either. With, like, a few nations, I guess I will, like, if they're really far away or something. Um, but if I know, for instance, like, if they're at, if they're, like, in war, and they just want an ally to, you know, help block bullets. Well, not bullets, of course, but, you know. To help fight, help, um, help them in a fight. I generally won't ally with them then, because I don't want to go to war. Um, unless it's something that I provoke someone to do. Because I'm nice like that. So I have an army of 12, um, how's my economy? It's decent for right now. But I'm gonna build a few Latin Knights just in case. I'll build up this and leave them over in this area just in case Aragorn is attacking. If they do, they're probably not gonna help too much, but you know, it'll be something. Ooh, cool. Yay, someone discovered, or Portugal discovered Japan. Which really doesn't mean anything. It just means they discovered Japan. They don't even need a ship near there, they just, like, automatically do it. Like, their colonial range, and they, for instance, and, well, that just means where they can settle colonies, but they probably, realistically, if you were playing as Portugal, couldn't get a ship over here. Um, but, you know, you just magically discover things sometimes. So, an army of six over there, it might be okay. Let's see. Navarre's being invaded by Sicily, again. I kind of want to help, because I want Navarra. Preferably without going to war Sicily, because Navarra's only one nation. Or one province big. Sicily will be three. Um, which, you know, isn't still that big of a deal, and they are all the way over there. But, that doesn't really mean anything. Um, so, but then I have to go towards Sicily, and I think they're allied with Aragon. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So anyways, let's just go to North Granada. Um, I think Holy War would probably be the best, because then I get all of their provinces. And, hold on, really quickly. I'm going to get an, ally an alliance with uh, Portugal. And could we get one of Aragon, maybe? Eh, not really. Uh, France? Just anyone, I guess. Oh, not a royal marriage. Alliance? That's likely. Maybe England. There, we'll try alliances with these guys. And maybe they'll help. I mean, France and England are at war right now. They don't start out, like, if you click on um, the Grand Campaign, it doesn't show that they're at war, but... Immediately whenever you start the game, France declares war on England, so yeah. And I think it's vice versa if you're playing as France. So England rejected our military alliance, France rejected it, Portugal accepted it, I figured they would. So now Portugal will help us when we go to war with Granada. So automatically call allies. Well they might not, but they probably will. Holy war. And yeah. So we'll send an army in there, and then you guys will go into Gibraltar. Actually, just, um... Half of you in Gibraltar. The other half of you. No, no, don't go that way. There you go. 
I don't want them crossing through Granada, because then they'd have to help with the war. Okay, so Portugal is helping us, and then we're at war with Algiers, Morocco, Tunisia. And apparently, awesome! Portugal is the papal controller, and they called a crusade against Granada, really. Uh, I want Granada. I don't want someone else to start taking them. I mean, granted, I'm going to be getting Granada, but, you know, call it against, like, Morocco or Algiers or something, not Granada. I wouldn't mind if someone took, ten like, Tunisia or Algiers or even Morocco, even though I'd like Morocco as well. They have gold over there. I really, I really want Seuss because I was playing as Portugal before, and I was attacking Morocco, and Casille stole Seuss from me, and they're the only place in Morocco that has gold, and I really wanted that gold, so I'm still a little peeved about it, and I want it, even though I'm not playing as Portugal. So we'll take over them pretty easy. Oh, I really lower the game speed. Don't like having it on 5 whenever I'm at war. So we won that battle and some other battle somewhere else that I didn't know about. Okay, we won two battles, though. Um, and so we should get over there faster. Hold on. Split these guys in half. And send one after them because they're escaping down to Elmeria. And since they called a crusade against Granada, that is a good thing um, in one side because we get all of these awesome things. Higher morale, higher national tax, but it's only while we're attacking them, which hopefully won't be too long. And Aragon doesn't seem like they're being dicks this time, so they're not attacking us yet. Hopefully they won't ever. For a while at least. But, you know, they might. Okay, we got there first. Good. If Portugal had gotten there first, they would start conquering Almeria and they would get it. Not what I want. Um, so I'm going to send you two down there. Because I want to decently spread just in case Morocco or Algiers or someone ends up deciding, hey, let's go attack them. And I think I might be able to send these guys down to help, but I don't know, there's Portugal, they, they're helping. They're using their entire military to help, and they're attacking Morocco too. Awesome. So now we sit here in siege. You can see over here the percentage, um, the percentage of the siege. Even when it's 100, percent you're not, you don't necessarily have it. It's gonna take a little bit, um, a little bit of time. I saw 13. I was like, since when is my military that big? Didn't notice them. Well, I noticed them, but I forgot about them. I'm nice like that. This is a lot better um, since Algiers, or not Algiers, since Aragon decided not to go to war with me yet. Um, Byzantium accepted peace with Algiers. Okay. Yeah, they're not in our war. I could care less. I guess they were at war with Algiers, but you know, I still could care less. Um, people are hiring our people. People are still hiring our people. Again, hiring our people. And, and again. Portugal's apparently sending people down to Algiers, maybe? It's not a lot of people, it's like two regiments. And they're being destroyed. Yeah. Good luck. Let's see. I think we'll assault down here. It's not always the best idea, but you know, might as well do it. I mean, there's always Portugal there to help anyways. So, um, so yeah, assaulting, if you get their um, forts um, morale all the way down, then you just automatically get the province. Which is always good, but your, as you saw, your military's morale goes down a lot too. But I figured Portugal's there, so you know, if someone attacks, Portugal would always help, so. That's not too concerned. Okay, so we got Granada. And I think I'm going to send this fleet over here. Because Morocco's probably going to send some ships um, from Tangiers to Cadiz or something. So. Send them to Gibraltar, and see so yeah, if they do send ships. 
No. Then, um, I can defeat them. And apparently attacking someone, Granada wants peace. No, you're gonna be annexed. Yeah, we should win this. I've just been against the Grenad Grenadian, Grenadian, Grenada fleet. Siege of Gibraltar is done. No, they don't really need help. I mean, it's taking them the longest, but eh. So we won that. We're still going over there. And also, I think my fleet might have gotten a little bit bigger. Whenever you... Naval warfare is a little weird. You can, like, conquer... Other, or not conquer, you can capture other people's ships. No, I'm not giving you all of my money. I am making money still, right? I am. Cool. Not for month, but I am yearly. Um, how many can you hold? Six. I might want to go and attack Morocco a little bit. I don't know. I guess I'll decide that in a bit. They'll see Gibraltar, Granada, or just um, Gibraltar, and Granada will pay money. No. Let's try this again. Probably not gonna work still, but you know, why not? It helps a little bit, I think. So, really quickly, I'm going to just kind of look around at the Morocco area. I don't see very many units. Granted, they're probably all in here. Because they are only at war with the Portuguese, and it looks like the Portuguese are just over here. No, these aren't the Portuguese. I'm confused. Why can I see over here? That's Sicily. Yeah, there's no... Oh, Portugal. Portugal's over there. Okay, and Tunisia. So yeah, we might want to talk, a talk, attack, um, Morocco, maybe. Not really certain. I don't know. Let's go scout around in uh, Tan or Algiers, not Tangiers, and um, see what they have. Yeah, Almeria is done. Um, not gonna take those provinces yet, though. We have a positive war score. <laughs> no, I'm not going to give you things. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to, um... Algiers, they seem like an easier target. Yeah, 47 against, like, 2. Yeah, we definitely won that. So, break off one of you guys. Go onto the ship. And then we'll go to... I don't know, Algiers or Tangiers, or Morocco. Where is Tangiers? Does Tran Tangiers even exist? Or am I just making up a name? I think it does, but I don't really know. Um... Yeah, either Morocco or Algiers. I still don't really know. I don't know, I don't really want to get too greedy, but... Oh, Tangiers is right there, duh. So I'm confusing a nation with a province. Whatever. So I could take Tangiers and bas basically be like a dick to Portugal, because it's one of their missions to take Tangiers eventually, but, you know. I deserve it more, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, sure, let's go over there. No. No. No peace, ever. Actually, yeah, you go. No. You guys go on board. And I love how they're not focusing on me at all. I guess someone else is attacking somewhere over there, maybe. 
Um, the Papacy, Herbanus, the... Seventh? Yeah, Seventh. I'm not so fast with Roman numerals. There's a new Pope. Yay. Don't know who that is. I care less, frankly. Go down to Tupacal, yeah. That should be good for now. We just go join up with them. They'll see Dalmeria and Gibraltar. No, you're gonna be annexed. Don't worry. <laughs> Whatever. Um. So yeah. Don't know why they're not seeding. Um, not seeding. Why they're not uh, sieging anymore? Seeding. Oh wow, Portugal lost a lot of battles. You're not helping my war score, dude. Yeah, they're helping us seed or er, siege. Why do I keep saying seed? <laughs> no. You still think you can get money from me? No, you can't. Oh, um. Yeah, I don't really want to deal with them. Just try and get peace. Um, see if they can see. No, because I, I want Granada. So, Annex. Granada's mine. Yay. Um, and then we're still at war with these guys. If we can just get like a white piece, that'd be awesome, but we probably can't. Yeah. Okay, so let's disregard the fact that we are. Let's just send these guys from. Well, yeah, whatever. We are the leaders in the war, so, yeah. Aw. Crusade against Algiers. We're not at, well, we are at war with Algiers. So never mind. Oh, yeah, wow. Army of 21 now. Help. <laughs> so... The Knights... Who? No, I don't want to remove anyone from my sphere of influ influence, though. Portugal, can you help? You know? Well, we are winning, so maybe we don't need the help. Yeah, Crusade effects. Um, lines from Bohemia? No, no thank you. Let's see, what are the revolts like? Actually not bad anywhere except for Gibraltar. And there it's, what, 7.3%? That's not great, but any revolts that rise up there I think I can probably handle with 11. Um, let's see. I'll leave 8 back. And I'll send these three. Let's go to... I don't know, okay, So 
saint performs a miracle. Um, we can gain one stability or gain narrow minded. I don't want narrow minded. No. Again, my war score is positive. Yours is negative. Guess what that means? You should be paying me or give a white piece. I wouldn't mind a white piece either. Yeah. I say that, and they give me a white piece, and I'm like, well, you know, whenever they give you a white piece, that generally does mean that, you know, they know they're about to lose, so, you know. You know what? Fine. There we go. So, send as many on there as I can. So, split in half. Still too big? No, it shouldn't be. All six regiments. less than six regiments. Altogether, I mean, its size is less than six. Split in half again? I guess, whatever. Takes a while. Come on. Now, normally I like disband a lot of this military, but you know, there's Aragon. You know, right for the picking. Maybe you want to attack them or Navara even. I don't think Navarra has any allies, and they are pretty small. They are just one province. And we do have this big army of 23. Let's see, Navarra, do you have any allies? You're at war with a lot of people. Um, you're allied with Aragon. Okay, never mind. Well, I do want to go to Ar war with Aragon anyways. So... Um... I'm just gonna take one of these ships. A Karak, sure. And you just go over to the Gulf of Leon. And just kinda check out stuff over there. Tell me what their military is like. Okay, well. I think I might want to join in the war. Um, again, well, with France and such. Sounds like a good idea to me. So, let's see, what's a revolt risk down here again? Don't know. 6.2. That's not that big. Um, I think I'm going to wait a while, though, just in case. But what I am going to do is split these guys in half. Alliance from the Teutonic Order, no thank you. And we'll split these guys in half. No, I'm not. Hold on. I'm going to take... Uh, 
Um, three way. Send you guys up there. You guys will be sent to hunt rebels. They should just be in Gibraltar, but, you know, I guess they could come from somewhere else too. You guys join up and go to Madrid. Because, I don't know, I like Madrid. Even though Toledo's our capital right now. Madrid. Um, go help over there. I guess we can't. We don't have military access, do we? Hey, guys. We're gonna help now. Welcome. Don't know who you're attacking. Hey, so you wanna have a royal marriage? Oh, I didn't. Click, I do. Really? We need this though for the mission. See, you have to have greater than a hundred and a royal marriage, but they don't want to have a royal marriage with me for some reason. I guess because our prestige is really high. It's probably it. But dude. We need this mission. We don't really, we really don't, but I mean, it'll help. Yeah, France is starting to take over Aragon. Really don't want that to happen, because I kind of want to unite Spain. Um, you know what? I'm going to be stupid and go, we don't have a Castle Spell Eye, of course we don't. I'm going to be stupid and we still don't have a Castle Spell Eye. don't really like going to war without a cast spell eye, your stability goes down a lot, and it's just not pleasant. Yeah, let's send an insult, because we just don't like them. I mean, that means that they can get have a cast spell eye against us, but, you know. Let's even get France to maybe, you know, end their war with these guys, because I don't like the fact that they're taking over these provinces. They probably won't actually take them, but, you know, they could, um, I don't know if I can ask them to cancel the war. Just, I really hope France doesn't end up taking those, because then it's going to be a lot more difficult for me to get this place, because I'll have to go with, with France, and then all their vassals, and that's not going to be fun. Granted, then England, I think, will like me a little bit more, but besides that... So yeah, just waiting. I feel like the revolt's gone up. I think it has a little bit. But it probably has something to do with the fact that I took out the majority of the army that was over there. Hey guys, you want to roll a marriage? Oh, Probably because I claimed their throne. I have a pretty high prestige right now. My economy is really pretty good too. Which I'm surprised at. Yeah, we have 364 Ducats and a really big army. I've never had such a big army with such a good economy. This is probably the best I've done with Casilla, even though it hasn't been that long. It's only been, like, what? A few years? Oh, why do I have it on three? Boost up to five. This might all end up being France. Uh, hope that doesn't happen. Yeah, they have, like, half of Aragon right now. Hopefully they don't take any of the provinces, though. Or else we'll have to go to war with France, and I really don't want to do that. But even if I were to go to war with the Aragon right now, the provinces would become French. Yay, government tech. Um, so we can now get an idea. We probably won't spend it yet, though. But yeah, a bunch of different things. I want to get for Quest for the New World, but I need higher trade technology. So we're going to focus on trade right now. It's going to take a while to get up to 7, but, you know, we're not going to be purely... F oh, you did. Are any of those places that I need to unite Spain? Probably. Um, so, form Spanish Union. I need Barcelona. Okay, they didn't take that. I need Aragon. They didn't take that. I need Valencia. They didn't take that. Okay, cool. So I just need these three provinces, and then I can declare, well, and have a core on them, 
then I can declare myself Spain. I don't even need these, even though those are part of Spain now. I think that's actually part of France, I want to say. I'm not certain, though. <sighs> I still want those, though. <laughs> um, we can enact monetary reforms and gain the skill for Master of the Mint. Don't really want that guy. Um, or gain three inflation. We can lose two civility and gain Master of the Mint. Or gain three inflation. What's our inflation at right now? Probably zero. Yeah, it's at zero. It'll go back down. But that is a lot of inflation. Um, and stability is really easy to get back. Uh, I'll just take the stability hit. Yeah, see, so it just helps with inflation, but I'm not doing anything with my treasury right now. Let's see, is there anything interesting we can build? Um, I think these all improve taxes. Wait, no, these are churches. They just give one more magistrate and help with stability. Um, I guess we'll build one in Gibraltar. But, besides that... It's gonna take 12 months, but, you know, it'll help. So where's culture map? Oh, there it is. Um, see, because that's all part of our culture, and I kind of want it. Granted, even though that's not part of our culture, I still want to keep it. But, you know, I'm just saying, I don't really care too much about this one, but I kind of want to have all of this. And maybe eventually Portugal, but I'm not really worrying about that right now. Granted, I probably could attack Portugal, and... Because, I mean, they have such a small military, and... And I think they're only allied with England. And us. Oh no, we'll have to attack ourselves. Crap. Um, but yeah, they're only allied with England, and I think England's at war with France right now, right? Um, they're at war with Burgundy, Brittany, and Tyrone. Oh, no, they're not at war with France. I'm surprised. I guess they resolved that quickly without anything happening. Weird. Apparently Tyrone... or not Tyrone. <laughs> this is Tyrone. But apparently Tyrone has taken over most of Ireland. I was about to say, apparently Ireland's almost united by Tyro um, Tyrone, but I kind of mixed up my words. I really want to attack Aragon, and you know, it'd just be like a dick move to attack them. Actually, no. If I'm lucky, these peasants will be successful. And they'll end up splitting Aragon even more so, so I can attack the Aragon split off, so I, they probably won't be allied with anyone. And then, if one of if the three provinces that I need aren't part of the split off, then I can attack Aragon. That'd be really nice. Hopefully I can do that. Because Aragon has like no army right now, so be really, really nice. I want to change my capital to Madrid, because isn't Madrid the capital of Spain, not Toledo? I know, I'm fairly certain Toledo isn't the capital of Spain. I'm fairly certain it's Madrid, right? So, I can make it my national focus. Um, do I want to? It gives me more tax. Which one gives me the most tax right now? This does give me more... But I make a lot less money because I don't produce gold. And gold is nice. This produces cloth, this place produces, produces gold. You can see, yeah, gold's worth a lot. Is that our only province with gold? Probably. We have iron, that's good. Not nearly as good as gold, though. Which is why I wanted this place, because they have gold. But, you know, freaking Casile. Well, I mean, you wait, no. Well, I mean, whenever I said that Casile took over Seuss, they didn't take it over, but they took it over. Like, you know, kind of like how France had, like, half of Aragon, but they only took these... Well, actually, I guess they took almost everything but Barcelona. So they took those three, even though they had all of these four. And maybe in Aragon, I don't really remember. Um, it's kind of like that. They had Seuss in their control, but they didn't actually take it. So I couldn't attack Seuss because it was already in Cassilian control. 
and we were allied attacking Morocco. So I couldn't take it, but I really wanted it because it has gold. Gold's worth a lot. So, you know, it was still want Zeus. Or at least another place with gold. Gold's really nice. Or tobacco and sugar are really good too. But gold's better. Church is almost done. Hold on, these, are these guys Islam? They are. I should probably send missionaries. I'm going to. Apparently can't send one here. Oh, because they're being... something's being built. There we go and hired one of our people. Yay, new king. Whoa, why is your morale lowering? I don't know. So, did the revolts get fixed? Nope, they're actually angrier at our... angrier... angrier at us. Yeah, they're getting their morale lowering too. But, maybe things will end up turning out alright. Because if they end up converting to Catholic, then I think they won't be as angry at us. I'm not certain, though. So yeah, Aragon ta got taken over, now they're working on Valencia. You should go to Barcelona next. That'd be a good idea. Aw, Aragon. Why'd you take back Aragon? I hate, I hate it when nations are named after a province. It's just like... Grr. I mean, it's just like, change your name a little bit, you know? Don't stay, like, I don't know, it's like Casil being named after Galicia. Like, we are all Galicia, but only one of our provinces is named Galicia. I understand that you probably started from that one province, but don't stay that name. I don't know, that's my opinion. Apparently Portugal's taking over Brittany. Go, go, Portugal? Oh, go, go, England, taking over Tyrone. Anything interesting happening over here? Not really. Nothing really interesting is happening. We have found common grounds with one of our neighbors, in fact, that was... In fact, that we share the same faith. Our relations have improved, so with Cologne, I guess. I don't know who those are. I've heard of them, I just don't know who they, who they are. Whatever, doesn't really matter. So where are these going? Still hate us, probably. Yeah. So they took over Valencia now. And now they're... Uh, just, let the, just let the rebels rebel. And then split up your nation. You can have Al Alicante. And then... Oh, you got help from Naples. That's cheating. Can you ever all merge yet? Please. Thank you. One stability. Um... Wait, what? They want us to go south. Against Morocco. They want us to have... Either Tan... Wait, no, they want us to own Tangiers, Malia, and Keuda. So, Tangiers, Malia, and Keuda. But, 